guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here with a little flip of April and May currently, what I'm up to in May, um, just to show you what I have been doing. So I know my last flip did end in like the first week in April, but I thought I would just go over it, show you what I've been doing as I haven't been doing plan with me's. When I plan in my bujo, it can take me hours and I do it like bit by bit during the day. So plan with me's aren't so easy to film. I might try and do one at some point, but you know. So this is my May cover page, a little clear window. And that was my month overview. I quite liked this spread actually, and I quite liked the layout of the month overview. So this is my goals for the month, and this is my mood tracker. You can see I had some productive days towards the end of the month there, not so much at the beginning. My grocery list and my online orders, which did fill up a bit, but not as big as I'd expected. <laughs> my first week was a Harriet Wright Designs kit, a mermaid kit. Loved this kit, it looks beautiful. I liked the Dutch door. I liked being able to use lots of the stickers. The next week was pretty basic because I didn't, like I sort of ran out of time to plan, not gonna lie. So I did a fairly basic week. I liked it a lot though, it worked quite well. Now this week, I did a little Dutch door, a mini Dutch door. This week was a big fat fail the week after. So this week was Easter week. So I used this Easter kit from Harriet Wright Designs because I had it and I loved it. And it looked beautiful, like absolutely beautiful. I loved it. I loved my mini Dutch door. It was so pink and pretty. And then you will notice this, this hideous blue from the other side. I did a spread using distress inks and I never even thought about the fact that they would bleed through and they really did. I was so tempted to rip this page out and redo it but I didn't. I didn't because I would have had to use undo on all the stickers and part of me feels like it's like a learning curve. I need to remember that this happens and it just looks so sad. I hate it. And after I'd finished the spread for the following week I hated it, so I stuck all the pages together instead. There's like three pages stuck together. Stuck them all together, hated it, redid it as a basic week because I just got annoyed. I liked this, I liked having them a week at the bottom, thought it looked quite cute. Almost ran out of stickers that day. <laughs> and then we're into May, so this is my May cover page. Now, my lettering is not good. I wish it was, but it's not. So I actually printed the writing. I typed it up in Word and then I printed it, sorry for the glare, onto acetate, which I then stuck on. I stuck the acetate on here with some clear glue. I actually made little slits in the card here. I don't know if you can even see. You see that and tucked it in, but this kept popping out. So I stuck it down with some glue. Should have just done that in the first place because it stuck really well. And then I just did a little calendar and some washi tape. So my theme for May is sort of stars and space. Mainly because Star Wars Day is in May and I wanted to do space themed so that I could do a Star Wars spread. And then I went a bit mad. <laughs> so I just did stars for the cover page. This is my weekly, my monthly view. Now, everyone who's asking me about those watercolours, I'm not good with watercolours or painting, I'm just learning, but this is them. Do you see that shimmer and sparkle? That is literally me just slapping the watercolors on, barely blending them, slapping them on. Look at all that shine. It is so pretty. I did write May up there in white pen and I put some little stars in white paint pen as well. The paint pen I used actually, um, is a new one, I will have to show you it at some point. But yeah, the sparkle on these watercolours, after it, at first I wasn't sure there was gonna be much sparkle and then it dried and whoa, it looks amazing. So then we're into the next page, which is my goals for the month and my mood tracker. Really quite happy with my mood tracker. It's pretty, I haven't kept up to date with it yet, but it's really pretty, I really like it. Tiny TARDIS. And then I've got my online orders. I just stuck some card here. It's actually shiny card. It's kind of hard to write on. Um, so it's a bit iffy, but I'll make it work. And then this is my grocery list. 
then this is the first week which I did the Star Wars theme because it was the 4th of May on the Saturday this is a stamp set from Kindred Stamps, which I love. I've just ordered some more stamps. These are from Stick Shop Stickers Shop Palooza, I think. Sticker Palooza um, on Etsy. The lightsabers are also from the same stamp set. I'm just covering up some personal information. And I liked this layout. It was nice and simple and pretty. I liked how basic it was. It worked really well. And then the next week, which is my kind of like, I'm really proud of this week. This is the current week. It's Doctor Who. So I did the TARDIS and I'm using the little sections as my days. And then I did the colors from the 13th Doctor's t-shirt. Well, they're not perfect, but as close as I could in a stripe at the top for my to-do list. This is a Kindred stamp set as well. And then this is a Dutch door. And I like this because it's like, don't blink at the Weeping Angel. And then what's this? What's this tiny little thing sticking out? Oh no, it's a Dalek. And the other side of this has got my meal plan and all my trackers and some information. But I just love that the Dalek's like, what? Oh, what is this, Caroline? It's a Dalek! And look at it! I am terrible at drawing. Terrible. I drew the TARDIS freehand, which is fine because it's just lines. That's not an issue. I could not draw the Dalek freehand. So I got a picture and then I used this, which I bought on Amazon, which is a light pad. It's like a thin light box. And I literally just traced it and then outlined it in pen. But I kind of love it. I love that if you're just looking at my planner, it's not obvious. And then there's just a big page of Dalek. Do love me some Doctor Who. Um, I've also put in some new stuff. There's nothing for next week yet. But this, so this weekend, so I'm filming this today. It's the 8th. This weekend, I'm going to PlannerCon Europe in Brussels. So I've done the start of my PlannerCon Europe spread. These are what is happening each day and the mini events. This was a free printable set from Carpe Diem. And so on this side, I have which shops are accepting which payment methods. And I've starred the shops I particularly want to shop at. Um, so that I knew how much the like, cash, card, etc. cetera. Um, the stickers once more with love. Just, I put a little tab up here. I did the space one because it matched with my monthly theme. And this is mainly just because I'm taking this, my bujo with me and I just wanted to do something to start with and then the next page is my packing list I'm getting there this side I will show you it after I've been but the top has my flight details this one has my hotel details and this is a tiny map of how to get from my hotel to the venue and then over here, this again is from that freebie. These are the few people I've agreed to do swaps with at the moment, but I've also got a whole bunch of swaps. I felt really behind and I hadn't made anything. Um, and I saw people on the ticket holder group were making swaps. And so I decided to make a few. There's not a huge amount in them. They're not super exciting, I don't think, but I'm hoping people will like them. And I made 12 of them. So I've got three people I'm definitely swapping with and then there's another nine swaps left. So I'm sure I'll get rid of them. But there's also a swap table. So if I don't have, if I'm being too shy and don't want to swap with people, I will just put them there. And that's it. That's my Bujo up to date. So yeah, I'm really proud of this week. I'm loving this week. So um, I'm going to do some videos on PlannerCon Europe. I'm going to vlog while I'm there. I'm going to do a video of what I'm packing and a video when I come home of everything I get because I fully expect to spend some money. And they will be up as soon as possible. If anybody has any questions, please ask them down below or you can find me on Instagram. I'll leave my Instagram name just here. And as always, guys, thank you for watching. Bye.